Hello ladies and gents, welcome on back to Spaceborne 2. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take over your very first massive system hub. That's right, we're going to take and we're going to take it over. They've changed a few things, so you want to stick around for that. And you want to stick around to the end because I'll show you the before and after numbers as we go. So you can see how much money we're actually going to make and how it kind of solves a lot of the problems with the factions. All right, folks, so I have chosen House Loprin to be the victim today, and we are going to take over the main part of the system, the thing that makes the most money, the main system. It has all the hubs, the trade centers, all that stuff. And it's a little different. As you can see, it's got a lot of crap. But I've made a few adjustments, like... Adding the biggest ships in the game. I pushed uh, everybody up to level 40, which is what you have to do to be able to use that ship. Then, let's see, we added some special forces guys along with our tanks, kind of even things out a little bit. That's just so we've got more bullets going down range, so it doesn't take quite as long to take over the inside of the station. We're going to capture it. Oh, yeah. And we are going to system in for Azalea. Right there. Damn, I was closer than I thought to it. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so. I see one outpost, two outposts, three outposts. The faction hangar. But only one station. This will be interesting. Of course, we got to hit the escape route first. Yeah, let's bring our boys in. All right. We'll take a look at our new fleet. Before we jump in, I'll show you guys real quick. Got one of the extra large ships, which would be the drone nest instead of the dreadnought. I just like the drones, you know? I've got all drone carriers, uh, one heavy fighter. Right? We've got one heavy fighter in there. So, we should not be an issue. At all. Alright, who- oh, jeez. Well, there's a big drone honker right there. Damn. And then the cool thing about this bad boy, the drone, is that uh, it has a whole bunch of healing drones also, so it supports your ships, which is the whole point of the command ships. The bigger and bigger ships, basically they're just support craft. But now comes the big boy. All right. This is going to be interesting... I have not tried to take over a uh, home system like this since the new 4.0 update, so we're going to do this together. Calibration completed. Waiting for the we'll dominate. Input. All right. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. It's got a couple of, uh, uh, looks like big boy ships there. No, those are fighters. Those are fighters. Hard to tell. Okay. So, we're going to do our number one move. Go hammer the shields. Remember, hold the B button to blast off. And having your weapons out versus in will affect your speed as you're moving here. And if you hit it while you're flying, it can throw you out sometimes. Always best just to choose your controls before you jump, whether you're going to have your weapons out or not. Oh, geez, they took everything over far. I, we even got here. Damn, kids. Uh, 
Let's see. The invasion. All right. Ooh, I like that. That was cool. It, oof. I dropped this a little far out. Okay. See, we got level 26 guys here. Ooh, we're going to have to stop. Weapons online. Oh, it's not what I like. Oh All right. I would like to feel like I actually did make a little money here, so we're gonna just just to see they did all the work. But this is why you take over the easy systems first, because as we go up higher and higher against the harder systems. It'll get nastier and nastier. Uh, oh, a little bit of money there. There we go. Got our junk. Fly on in. Oh no, I just got my shot. Oh no. Let's see. No, I did. I, I sold off my sniper rifle. Well, I have to do things a little harder then, I guess. Yeah, you can't. Uh... Ooh, they're kind of stomping on us, aren't they? Let's see, let's go over here. See these guys, those are the ones that are gonna be impossible to get. Enemy is retreating. Push forward and maintain pressure. This is our chance to advance. Can't use our backpack in here. So I got a pot I better pick up when we get done. There we go, walk it all over the target. Hey! Now the interesting part will be, does it let it take over the area yet? No, it does not. But that could be just because we need to leave the area and then jump right back in. So let me do that. Give me a second here. And we shall see how things stand. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay. So. Yes, we can. All right. So I guess we don't have to take over two stations. Normally, that's what would happen. And it used to be that way. Even for the very first station you tried to take over, you would have to do two. But it looks like they've changed some of that. Which is fine. It makes our life nice and easy.
Most our system is under attack by WRA. All civilian ships, please enter warplay and wait in a safe orbit until the threat is eliminated. Rest assured, we'll use all available resources to swiftly end this attack. Target shields down. Target destroyed. Security forces ascending. Ships our way constantly. If we don't act fast, their numbers will increase rapidly. Let's grab what we can and get out of here quickly. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Hmm. Well, we didn't get squat diddly looks like in the way of uh pilots we get a crate Oop. Huh? Huh? but you know it's all about whatever we can get our hands on all right so we've already taken over that so now we'll jump here kill these guys by the time that's done we'll just have everybody come in behind us calibration module activated Calibration completed. Waiting for the Rip this system real quick. Weapons online. Shield recharge. Target shield. Target destroyed. Target shield. Target destroyed. Target shield. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target shield. Target down. shield. Target down. destroyed. Target destroyed. Whee. And there's no crates yet. Wow. Target shield. Target destroyed. Target I don't know. Maybe I just kill them too fast. Target destroyed. Target, Target shield down. destroyed. Oh, we got pods though. There's the big difference. Um, we're going to be fighting a whole bunch more of these than we normally do. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Yeah. Target shields are down. Normally it's only three or four, and this one's got like five or six. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target shield. Target destroyed. Oh man, those aren't worth much. Oh well. At least we're picking up a little bit of spray uh, here, even if it's not going to be the highest stuff. It'll all add up eventually. Target shields are down. Target, target shield destroyed. Down. Target destroyed. Target shields are down. Target destroyed. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster. Weapons online. Target destroyed. Target shield destroyed. Target destroyed. I kind of gave him a chance, not really. Target shield. Target destroyed. Squad duty. Oh no, we got all the two things. Well, now it's just the old waiting game here. All right. Have not lost a single guy. And this is the big thing I wanted to show you guys. Total income, three and a half million. My total expenses, 803. Before I do this.
There we go. So cranked all the way. We're still pulling in three mil. So three and a half, 803. What that means is I can go run two, three, four, whatever kind of missions that I want. And then I can come back and I'm gonna have bank. Now would be a good time to do things like upgrade our home base. All the cheap ones first because, ooh, wee. All righty, folks. Well, looks like we got about, you know, a million and a half, 1.7 or so. Not too shabby. But now we just have to wait for the time to kick over and we'll have two and a half million. And then, like I was saying before, as you go through now, this is going to be more than enough to buff up all your stations, which is what I would recommend doing in between updates as we're waiting to see what he throws next at us. We should have something soon. So you want to make sure you tune in, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because this isn't all I have. I've got a brand new game coming that, well, let's just say will remind you of Freelancer. So keep your heads down, your Warriors of Doom up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.